Should I be an ISSO or should I be a security control assessor? Um, these are the questions that I get asked a lot. So a security control assessor is there to perform assessments on security controls. Security controls are measures that you put in place to reduce or minimize risk. So what are examples of security controls? Could be policy documents. It could be a firewall. It could be an uh, antivirus, piece of antivirus software. It could be an IDS, IPS. It could be um, different things that you put in place to minimize risk. An ISSO, on the other hand, is there to facilitate, to help, to guide you through the process of getting your system authorized. So you could think of the ISSO as a security ambassador. All right, so which position should I go for? Both positions are not uh, technical positions. They are both in the uh, compliance um, and policy side of cybersecurity, which is the non-technical side of cybersecurity. So which one do you go for? Uh, go for either the security control assessor or ISSO. And um, I think you won't go wrong. I have a cybersecurity course called the Security Control Assessor course. This course trains you on how to become a security control assessor, also known as an SCA or a SCA. Now with this training, it's going to show you step by step on the job training what a security control assessor does, how the security control assessor prepares for an assessment. If you don't know who a security control assessor is, a security control assessor is one who assesses security controls. Security controls are things or measures that you put in place to reduce risk to an acceptable level. So this training will show you the ins and outs on how to become a uh, SCA. It also comes with a certificate of completion, um, resume, pr resume prep videos, uh, interview prep videos. It also comes with tons of resources, templates that you would use on the job. So if you are considering a career change or a field within cybersecurity that requires no technical skills, and it's only about the compliance side of cybersecurity, which deals with policies, procedures, and things of that nature. As a security control assessor, you're going to be looking at documentation, reviewing documentation, and writing your comments, saying, hey, this passes, this fails, this is not right, uh, this is correct. Uh, so that's pretty much what a security control assessor does. You look at evidence and you determine if the evidence is satisfactory or not. And you have a cheat sheet with you to um, use as your guide. So for more information, sign up for this course, and I promise you, you will not regret it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at CyberFirst Solutions. Thank you.